thank you for your channel, it's epic. Smiley face. Here's a question I've always been scared to ask anyone. I've never got with a woman in a club slash night out situation, and I think I'd like to try that. I've got off with a bloke, which was hot as fuck, but let's be honest, social rules in gay bars are simpler. Winky face. So yeah, how does one go about that? How do you get someone's attention and start proper conversations in a club? And not be creepy, etc. It's all a long way out of my comfort zone, to be honest. I'm in a small city. We do have a nightlife, but nothing like London. So, we have answered similar questions to this in the past, and I would recommend looking at our channels with, with questions something like how to flirt, um, without looking like a creep, would probably be one of the main ones I would refer to. Which I think is our most popular video. So yeah, interesting. interesting. I guess a lot of you don't want to be creeps, but also want to get laid, which I heartily approve of. Like, me too. Yeah, so usually we would refer someone to completely just, uh, you know, look at those past questions. However, I think we did decide that this has uh, similar, uh, some differences that uh, I think would need to be uh, addressed. Uh, first and foremost, it really just cuts into the whole, like, club situation, right? So I think Zadie, you and me will both agree that, um, you know, places where people smoke and sort of quieter places outside are usually a lot of the time uh, the places to be. And, um, yeah, I've never successfully hit on someone on a dance floor. Have you? Yes. Yeah? Oh, God. How'd it work? <laughs> Fine. And until the next day, his friends told him never to see me again because they all hated me. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. This is, so this is now back on research. Research. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so especially if it's a small town, right? You don't want to be like seen with someone who's maybe already snapped up or something. Um, it's absolutely, I think it's fine to ask, you know, are you here with someone? Uh, so, you know, that then that's a polite way for the person to answer whether they're like, you know, available or not. Or maybe they're just with their, you know, with their friends and they're completely not in the mood to be, uh, you know, approached in that manner um, or, or, or anything like that. Um, I would say, you know, a good compliment never hurts. And again, you don't need to be like, oh, you know, like fucking... Oh, nice boobs yeah, a good compliment is a quite specific thing. Yes, they're basically something that shows, again, we always go back to that thing, empathy, right? Something where you, you truly admire that someone has made, uh, you know, an effort towards something that is, that, that, that is of beauty to them, mm -hmm. to both you and them, right? Yeah, like, I love it when someone compliments an aspect of my outfit, because I generally, despite appearances, care all about my outfits and generally think they're well put together. So if someone's like, oh, I love that top, or like, I love the way your earrings match your lipstick. I'll be like, me too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something about like, there's a certain sort of attempt to own the night together sort of mm. thing, right? Uh, I hate to be that guy, but sadly that sort of like feeling us against the world does work a lot of the time and it is so cliche, you know, but a lot of the time, especially if the party is not necessarily happening, you know, you really kind of want to like be kind of a bit bitchy about it. Yeah, <laughs> so being like self-deprecating or like a, bit, a little bit like... <laughs> like maybe it's not like the best politics in the world, but yeah. You know. Well, self-deprecation I think is is is, yeah. good, is good politics as such. As and like always, I think always really. Uh, I hate to be again. It's a cliche s a sentence, but treat them how you'd like to be treated, right? So where there is a space for the person to to you know to back off if the if the if, if the attention is uh, is unnecessary is is kind of unrequited. Mm. Uh, however. Um, yeah, however, I think just being attentive and be really showing that, I don't know, there's no one around pretty much, that that is the only person that you're interested in, um, make them feel special without doing the whole nagging thing, right? That we've discussed again mm -hmm. in previous episodes where, um, yeah, you don't want to, you know, kind of make them feel like, oh, they've been chosen in yeah. a sense of like, uh, now they owe you something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's definitely not the Sorry, and a different point is that like it also like might take a period of a few hours or something. Like I would find it quite off-putting if someone comes onto me all at once. But like say I'm next to someone at a bar and they make a funny little joke, and then half an hour later I bump into them for the queue for the toilets and we roll our eyes, and then maybe like, after that I might see them in a smoking area or dance with them. But like build up interactions, making it clear you're looking at them, mm -hmm. but not that you're stalking them. Like yeah, I think because I I warm to people, I don't anyone coming on at me straight away, I would view a suspicion, unfortunately. Yes, right. absolutely. Um, yeah, that's such a good point, that straight away, going from zero to 100 probably is a yeah. bit much. You do want to build it up. Obviously, it's very sad if then they leave or whatnot, and you've never had the chance. Um, that has happened with me as well. I've been, like, working my way, working my way. Oh, they've gone. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know if you have like queer parties possibly in your town, but those always usually have a more, a more, I suppose, I don't know, quite, I guess quite lustful feel about them. I don't know, like basically there's a certain sort of sense of, of, of like, Intimacy. I, I think it's because they're like kind of safer spaces in a sense. Yes. Because there's not only men being predators towards women. Yes, absolutely. Only. Just that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like basically, yeah, people are 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 able to have to be open about their sexuality without feeling like. Uh, but to be fair, I probably sounded quite a bit dodgy there. It's not like, oh, go to those parties to like hook up with people. That's kind of that's totally not what I meant. As in, like the reason why those are places where people like feel comfortable is because people don't just go there for that purpose. So I don't mean it like that. But from your question, it sounds like you're not wholly straight since you've mentioned hooking up with guys. So that's yes. a legitimate Yeah, suggestion. that's true, actually. Yeah, yeah. And it seems, in general, you seem to be self-reflective enough that I don't mind recommending you particularly towards uh, towards that sort of spaces. But yeah, obviously don't go like queer watching or like fetishizing other people's like sexualities either. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the question always helps, you know, so something, you know, instead of just like, how was your day? You can just go, what was the high point of your day? Or what was the low point mm-hmm. of your day? You know, or, or what's the high point of this party thus far? Or what's your point? least favorite song that's played so far? Like, yeah. I mean, it's something that like, yeah, starts a bit more of an interesting conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, in terms of kissing, was this is that is, part of the question? Well, it's just like how to get off with someone in the club, right? Mm. I mean, that's just the magic moment that we're always still looking for even ourselves, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, that when everything goes together and you can feel like it's probably gonna go there, that is just that, mm, yeah. that moment. Nobody it's wants no to lounge one. out of nowhere, but everyone wants to like... Yeah, 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 but basically, isn't it like such a special, such a special moment, that first kiss with someone, like, in that kind of environment where it's all like really hot? Like, I don't I've, never, I've never had a really hot nightclub experience. I've had one really hot nightclub experience, but in the walkers. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, there's just something so ephemeral about it, something so indescribable and so special and it really, there's a chemistry to it that there's no way anyone could explain to you as to how to get there, right? So, um, but I definitely please, I think, unless you're 100% sure that someone is up for it, ask them, you know, um, well, how do you feel about, you know, no, I'm sorry, and I hate to be an unconsensual know, feminist, but I, 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 like, okay, listen, listen, <laughs> as someone who is not particularly, um, I don't like feeling like I have to voice my opinion in a situation which I don't feel comfortable yet, so like, for example, when I first join a new group, I don't always speak of the meetings, but after six months, I then do. If someone I barely know, even from the best of the bottom of their feminist little heart, says, like, would you, like... It, if I kiss you, I feel very much put on the spot and like, I know that this is like what the feminist yeah. books tell you to, but it makes me feel very uncomfortable and close up and I'll be like, oh no, even if I actually do want to kiss them just because, it's, like, I'm not saying oh, don't ask them sex, <laughs> but I'm just saying like, there is a way of like, sensing your way to a kiss that doesn't always, I mean, if in doubt, ask. Yeah. But if, she, if you do it slowly and obviously, she, she, she will give you a signal either way at some point. Yeah, and I guess you should be already touching different parts. Yeah, I was going to like, actually, if anyone would be unconsensual. <laughs> yeah, like, you, but yeah, like, you can do like that, and then yeah. you can do like that, and then yes. like, you know. Mm. Oh, an ear, nothing <laughs> quite like an ear touch. Mm. Yeah, and like, there'll, there'll be the Net. flinch oh. if she doesn't like it. Yes, right? yes, yes, that's true. So, I mean, I'm not saying... Okay, I'm just getting, I'm getting a bit... I saw that touching I just did. Honestly, I just like, I miss it. I miss that like, you know, basically I'm ke- I keep thinking about like, dancing on my own parties that used to happen back in London, back in the day, like that Mill Green. Um, well, yeah, it was, the vibe was just that and all the time and I don't know, it was just something, I mean, I'm just, yeah, I don't know. I'm just basically a bit nostalgic. Maybe I'm nostalgic, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting a bit older and also aware of my like, hashtag image and all that, like I feel I can't really relax in spaces anymore because I feel like at all times there'll be a certain... Basically you can't hook up how you used to, like you can outside of the scene but not in the scene mm. as such because like people make assumptions very very quickly and I don't know. Um, well that's the other thing right, you said you're not in London, you're in a smaller city, like how small is the city, like would everyone in the club know you, do you have to take into account like the politics of your area, like and I don't know what kind of clubs you're going to, like because obviously every area has its own Every space has its own social n- norms that you need to adhere to. Yeah. And like, do you go to these places with a group of friends because no girl wants like eight guys. Some girls want eight guys 
Corey had, but it's not normally something you assume. Like, <laughs> <laughs> definitely ask first in that situation. Yeah. So, like, yeah, like, I'm not really into, like, chatting with someone if I see all his friends, like, watching me do that. Like, like, I don't know. <laughs> also, um... I'm just going to is really neurotic right now. Like, I don't go clubbing, okay? <laughs> like, I'm trying my best. Um, and then, just, obviously, that's a very obvious point, but feel, you know, leave the house feeling extremely, like, confident and beautiful yourself. Like, if you, if you don't feel confident, if you're, like, having to beg for, for, sort of, for, um, acknowledgement, that's not hot, that, that's not cool. Basically, like, have something on offer as such. Like, don't... Don't make it that the other person has to do all the work, basically. Because I've been in those situations where it's just like, I can tell someone is, you know, into me and it's lovely and that, and yet I'm having to do all the work. Yeah. And it's frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> it's very confusing. I mean, I guess it's also a confidence thing. People feel different levels of confidence in different areas, but also don't give off a false confidence either in that sense if you can't follow yeah. through on the second date. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Sorry. Uh, it's not cool to have indirect on a public show. <laughs> no, no, no. But no. yeah, um, it's not a thing. And like I do it too. Like I have like the funny party girl in well, I'm the party girl. The funny girl in one situation I'm then like the quiet sheep in the corner in another situation. It's like confusing, like But yeah. Try to be confident but not, not yourself as well. Like don't yeah. Don't give a false first impression. Yeah, don't give a for, for, false for, uh, <laughs> um, words. Yeah, false first impression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also, I don't know. There's that thing where you realize that, yeah, that they're into, but like then you're having to complete it as such, and it's just I find it. Yeah, it's just annoying. Yeah. But then, I'm but wondering, then again. is that what guys, like, expect to have to do all the time? Is that, like, the girl just waits there? Like, this is, like, the stereotypical thing, it's like, she just waits and he has to complete it, he has to be the one that does the work, and she then just goes, oh, right. Well, we've spoken about this, right? The fact that pretty much all the people we've been with were the ones that actually went like the other It's stuff. true, yeah, that's true, yeah. We are initiative takers and yeah. breakers. I don't know, maybe back in the day, not anymore, I don't think so, I don't know. Yeah, it's true, actually, I haven't broken a heart in a while. Should get on it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I don't know, I'm hoping that was of use. Again, any follow-up questions? More than happy, no. please give us some feedback. Also, let us know, how did the club outing go, you know, was any of this useful? Maybe, maybe you had a hookup that actually didn't, you know, none of this advice was even necessary. Again, and we, oh, we fucking hate to do this, but like, when you know, you just know, right? And it's just like, there's nothing to really say about it. And when there is chemistry, when people, two people are into each other, again, when someone, like, again, we keep repeating somewhat the same rules right now, but like, if someone is into you and if someone fancies you, there's literally, you can't do any wrong. But also, that is true, definitely. Like, there is this, like, undescribable chemistry thing in a lot of situations, but also, I have been... I have had sex with people that I'm not super with chemistry with because I feel like having sex, right? So like it also depends what you want. Like it's also okay to have a hookup with someone that you just kind of fancy and just would be like a laugh without having to be like this magical intense moment. I mean, this is me being a slut, but also like there's nothing wrong with that. So like, yeah, like you can look for this and hope you get this because this is the best thing. Marianne is the best thing. No, what she's talking about, but also her. But or um, or you can also just be like, you know what? I'm gonna laugh with this person. We can go shag. Funny you say that, I've, yeah, I guess actually I've never felt free enough to do that in clubs because always, like, you're in a scene around people and any, yeah, a lot of your moves just get read as certain things. But I think things, it's because so we're in the, a scene, which yeah. is a different thing to being, like, in just, like, a regular nightclub, right? right. Ooh, ooh, we, okay, so Ron has already passed her driving license. I'm going through that for the first time as well. Fuck, but, hero. I cried. Well, be, you killed it, so of course. Well, you didn't no, kill I, anyone, so... <laughs> oh, I cried, before. yeah. Anyway, I nearly failed. I had to kind of emotionally blackmail him into letting me pass, but it, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I am going through the process myself right now. I'm like halfway through my uh, course. And we're thinking we're probably going to do a little, hopefully, AAA tour around different towns. Because we've already got like two line, uh, two live shows uh, lined up. Um, Should we, I guess we could do the dates. I forgot. No. 17th of... No, 31st of... May. May. At part, as part of the Anarchist Festival. Yes. Very exciting. Um, yeah, we're doing a live show here in London. Is that the one we booked in the I think both of them are in, in 
London Action Resource Centre. Yes. And one on the 17th of June. That is Anti University. Yes, part of the Anti University. Very, very cool project. Lots and lots of interesting talks, discussions, workshops. Look it up. Proper situation and stuff. Mm hmm. And yeah, so uh, basically, so, but we do want to travel around the country with AAA as such. And we're thinking maybe we could be taken to random clubs where we don't have to worry about London scene. Ooh, yeah. If you want to get us to do a live show and also take us to your local nightclub. Yes. Let us know. Yes, whoever's just written to But it's a line, I guess, because then you'll have to show who you are, but I don't know. If there, yeah, you basically DM people. Mariam or me on Twitter if you want to invite us to something without, like, telling Yeah, I'll, yeah, anonymity guaranteed. Take yeah. us to your flipping clubs, man. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fascinating. Like, you yeah. won't have to worry about, yeah, the, the scene as such. And or, like, the clubs where, I guess, we wouldn't meet our people in the are just super expensive or whatnot. It's yeah. Just, I don't know. Oh my god! All the outfits look like bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we could be like totally anonymous somewhere else. Not that I'm not totally anonymous here, but like even more. Anonymous. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a brief interlude. Yes. Shall we? Okay, dogs. I'm gonna just check that everything is working, and then uh, we'll move on to the next question.